press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello friends, welcome to Phoenix Educare. Welcome to the sixth chapter of 10th CBSE Democratic Politics. The chapter name is Political Parties. So in this chapter, we, are, we will study about what are the different kind of political parties or what are the state political parties or national political parties or what are the different kind of party systems that are existing in democracy. And we will see what is the need of political party in democracy and what are the challenges that are faced by the political parties. Also, we will see what are the functions of political parties. So let us begin with this chapter. See, see, these are national political parties and these are the regional political parties. So, national political parties are present all over the India and regional political parties are present in some particular region. So, there are different kind of political parties in our country. See, first we will see what, why do we need political parties. See, as we have, as we, we know that India is a democratic country. So, in democracy, everybody is equal and leaders are chosen by the people. People are choosing their leaders. See, initially when there was no representative democracy, now we are having our representatives which, who are working on our behalf. Before that, there were no, no representatives. So, like Panchayat, where all the people, all the adults of the villages are coming together and they are taking decisions for them. So, initially in countries like Greece, where everybody, all the citizens of, of that country would come together, and they would discuss about the issues and they would take decisions. But now it is not possible because the population has increased and the issues are also very complex. So we are choosing our leaders. We are electing our leaders and that leaders are taking decisions on our behalf. So now we are having representative democracy. And in that representative democracy, the importance of political parties has increased. The political parties are easily one of the most visible institutions of democracy. So whenever, wherever we see we can see political parties or if you want to talk about democracy, then we have to talk about political parties also. Like if you take example of India, then we are having major political parties like BJP or we are having Congress. So whenever we are talking about politics or democracy, we have to talk about political parties because political parties are representing many people in our country. So for most ordinary citizens, democracy is equal to political parties. People don't have much knowledge about the democracy or about the constitution. They only know about the leaders and about the political parties. If you travel to remote parts of uh, uh, parts of our country and speak to less educated citizens, you could come across people who may not know anything about the constitution or about the nature of the government. But chances are that they know about something about the political parties. Most people tend to very critical about political parties. They tend to blame parties for all the wrong things or with uh, our democracy or political life. So whatever wrong is happening in our life, we are blaming the government or we are blaming the political parties. Because the political parties are visible everywhere. So we don't know about the government or don't know about the government officers. We know about the leaders, our local leaders. So we are blaming that poor leaders and we are blaming the political parties. We are also praising them whenever they are doing good job. But most of them, we are blaming the political parties. If suppose the prices are high, prices are rising, then we are not talking about what is the reason for the prices. We are only blaming the leaders and we are only blaming the political parties for the price rise. Then need for political parties. See, about 100 years ago, there were very few countries of the world that had political parties. Now, there are few that do not have political parties. Why did the political parties become so omnipresent in democracies all over the world? Why the political parties are seen everywhere in the, everywhere in the world? So, the reason for that is, let us first answer what political parties are and what they do before we see what why do we need them. So, a political party is a group of people who come together to contest elections and hold power in government. See, most important aim of political party is to get power, is to win power. So, how they will get power? Whenever they are contesting election. So, political party is a group of people when group of people who are having who are having same ident same ideologies or same thinking they are coming together they are forming a party and they are contesting elections to hold power and form a government hold power in a government they agree on some policies and programs for the society with a view to promote collective good so they are agreeing on some policies and they are collectively working together and they are do doing good for the society since they since there can be different views on what is good for the good for all, parties try to persuade people why their policies are better than others. So there are various political parties that we are seeing in our country. 
so all the political parties are trying to persuade people try to convince people that their policies are good and if the people are happy with their policies then they will vote for them so all the political parties are having the main aim to get power and for getting power they are framing some policies kuch policies banate hain aur ye policies sab logo ko jaake batate hain aur agar logo ko pasand aaye politics agar logo ko policies pasand aaye to log unko vote dete hain so this is how the work, work is done so since there can be different views on what is good for the good for all parties try to persuade people why there is why their policies are better they seek to implement these policies by winning popular support through election so whenever the party is winning the election then they are they are uh, they are fulfilling the policies or they are implementing the policies so for implementing the policies it is important that they are getting elected a political party has three components first the leaders then active members and followers and uh, active members and followers the first is leader if you take example of bjp then narendra modi or amit shah these are the leaders of the party these are the important leaders of the party then there are active members there are other uh, members uh, there are other members or small small leaders at local level also these are the active members then followers or people who are voting for them so they are the followers of that party there are some people who are very loyal to some parties like some people who are very loyal to congress party or some people who are very loyal to bjp so they are only voting for bjp that this this people can be called as followers leaders are the important leaders of the political party if you take example of congress then sonia gandhi or p chidambaram or rahul gandhi these are the leaders of that party then there are active members if you know if you look at your local place also there are various small small leaders of congress party these are the active members and then followers of that party people who are voting to that political parties or small party workers who are following the political party so let us see what are the functions of political party so basically political parties fill political offices political offices means offices like prime minister chief minister mayor etc these are the political officers so people who are the leaders of political parties they are contesting elections and after winning the elections they are filling the political office if you take example of bjp then in 2014 bjp contested election and bjp won the election won the lok sabha election and after that supreme leader of bjp or the topmost leader of bjp narendra modi he became the prime minister of india so he filled the political office political office means prime minister office and after the filling the office they exercise political power parties do do, do so by performing series of functions so there are various functions that political parties are uh, are performing let us see what are the functions the first function is parties contest election so in most democracies elections are fought mainly among the candidates put by the political parties so if you take example of elections that are happening in your area so there are various political parties who are contesting election who are taking part in election so political parties are nominating some some candidates and that candidates are fighting elections so agar koi bhi political party hai to political party apne ummeedwaron ko chunta hai to ye ummeedwar matlab candidate so so jo ummeedwar hai ye ummeedwar jab baad mein ja aage ja ke election fight karte hai and jab hi jeet jate hai to ye us party ke ummeedwar jeet jate hai so political parties are our our elections are fought mainly among the candidates put by the political parties so political parties are electing some uh, are appointing some people and that people are contesting elections parties select their candidates in different ways so there are two ways in which political parties are selecting their candidates in some countries candidates are selected by members and supporters of the party so if you take example of usa so usa ka jo bhi leader hoga ye leaders ko jo bhi election contest karega leader ise us political party ke एक्टिव मेंबर्स या फॉलोअर्स चूज करते हैं सो सपोज इफ यू टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ यूएसए देन यूएसए देर आर टू मेन पोलिटिकल पार्टीज फर्स्ट इज लेबर फर्स्ट इज डेमोक्रेटिक पार्टी एंड सेकेंड इज रिपब्लिकन पार्टी सो डोनाल्ड ट्रंप इज इज रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ रिपब्लिकन पार्टी अर्लियर बराक ओबामा वॉज रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ डेमोक्रेटिक पार्टी तो ये जो इलेक्शन होगा प्रेसिडेंट का तो प्रेसिडेंट का इलेक्शन होने के लिए अगर मैं रिपब्लिक रिपब्लिक पार्टी का मेंबर हूं तो रिपब्लिक पार्टी में से बहुत सारे लोग इलेक्शन के लिए अपने आप को नॉमिनेट करेंगे उसके बाद रिप रिपब्लिकन पार्टी के जो भी सपोर्टर्स हैं जो भी एक्टिव मेंबर्स हैं वो लोग उसमें से एक आदमी को प्रेसिडेंट का नॉमिनी चूज करेंगे सो दे आर इंटरनली चूजिंग द पर्सन सो दे आर इंटरनली इलेक्शन आर हैपनिंग सो पार्ट कैंडिडेट्स आर सिलेक्टेड बाय मेंबर्स एंड सपोर्टर्स ऑफ द पार्टी बट इन केस ऑफ इंडिया टॉप मोस्ट लीडर्स आर सिलेक्टिंग द कैंडिडेट्स दे आर नॉट आस्किंग द पीपल और दे आर नॉट आस्किंग द स्मॉल लीडर्स दे आर जस्ट selecting the leaders 
सो इन अदर कंट्रीज कैंडिडेट्स आर चूजन बाई टॉप टॉप पार्टी लीडर्स एग्जाम्पल इंडिया नेक्स्ट इज पार्टीज पुट फॉरवर्ड डिफरेंट पॉलिसीज एंड प्रोग्राम सो सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन इज पार्टीज पुट फॉरवर्ड डिफरेंट पॉलिसीज एंड प्रोग्राम If voter like the policies of the political party, they will vote for them. In democracy, large number of people with similar opinion group together and form party. So, in democracy, large number of people who are having similar opinion, who are having same opinion, they are coming together and they are forming a political party. After coming to power, ruling parties implement those policies. So, जो भी policies बनाया, जब भी जीतने के बाद ये political parties वो वो policies को implement करते. So, whenever political parties are winning elections, then they are implementing the policies. तो जो भी उन्होंने वादा किया था पहले इलेक्शन के पहले वो इलेक्शन जीतने के बाद पूरे कर देंगे वादे थर्ड इज पार्टीज प्लेयर डिसिसिव रोल इन मेकिंग लॉज फॉर द कंट्री सो लॉज आर मेड बाय पार्लियामेंट एंड पार्लियामेंट हैज मेंबर्स ऑफ वेरियस पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज सो जो पार्लियामेंट है या फिर स्टेट में जो लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबलीज है ये लोग लॉ बनाते हैं लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबलीज एंड पार्लियामेंट आर मेकिंग लॉज सो हु आर द मेंबर ऑफ लेजिस्लेचर और द पार्लियामेंट द मेंबर्स आर From the political parties, so political parties are also making laws. Laws are debated and passed in legislature. We are having parliament or we are having state legislative assemblies. These are legislature which are making laws. But since most of the members belong to party, they go by direction of party leadership, irrespective of their personal opinion. So suppose I want to make a law, then political party will political party will fix and they will frame one law. and all the members of that political party have to accept that and if all the members are accepting then a law will be passed so political parties are indirectly making laws their members or the chosen representatives are making laws but top leadership are uh, are forcing people or they are telling the small leaders to vote for them if you take example of law like there was a debate that bjp government made a law uh, against triple uh, triple talaq so triple talaq was banned in india so all the members of bjp or all the members of parliament of bjp were were not asked before making the law so only top most leaders of bjp like the law minister or some important leaders all of them are framing the policies so after policies are framed then the small mps or the small leaders or mps have to follow that policies so they are making the laws fourth is parties form and run government so big policy decisions are taken by political executive mp or chief minister that comes from political parties so political parties are forming government so party that is getting majority that party is become, uh, forming a government after the government is formed all the big policy decisions are taken by the prime minister or chief minister and they are or with the help of all the members of that political party they are they are fulfilling that dreams that uh, fulfilling the policies that they have uh, they have told before contesting the elections parties recruit leaders train them and make them ministers to run government in the way they want so political parties are appointing leaders choosing leaders then they are training them they are making them ministers and after that after them after they are made ministers they are they are working for the betterment of the government or betterment of the country then next important role of the political parties is role of opposition those parties that lose in election play the role of opposition to the parties in power so if you take example of current situation in india then bjp is the ruling party and congress is the opposition party so congress is opposition party as congress party has lost the election in 2014 so congress is opposition party so suppose some suppose bjp is making some bad policies or the policies are not good then congress will oppose that policies congress will tell the people or congress will oppose the policies of the bjp so political parties opposition parties are keeping watch on the work of the ruling party so they are acting as a watchdog by voicing various uh, by vo vo voicing different views and criticizing the government for the failure or wrong policies so they are criticizing the government or they are watching the work of the government or they are voicing their uh, they are voicing on different views suppose political party ruling party is making bad policies then opposition party will raise their voices and they will tell all the people that the policies are wrong and if the people are accepting the will of the opposition leaders opposition party then ruling party has to change the policies the pol opposition party is also mobilized opposition to the government so pol opposition party are organizing all the people together and they are they are coming together and they are raising their voices against the against the ruling party agar ruling party ne koi galat decision liya hai 
तो ऑपोजिशन पार्टी सभी लोगों को इकट्ठा करेगा और इकट्ठा करने के बाद ये गवर्नमेंट के अगेंस्ट फाइट करेंगे गवर्नमेंट के अगेंस्ट आवाज उठाएंगे उनके अगेंस्ट उनके अगेंस्ट स्लोगन्स रेज करके या अलग अलग तरीके से पॉलिसी चेंज कराने लगा देंगे नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन ऑफ पॉलिटिकल पार्टी इज पार्टी शेप पब्लिक ओपिनियन दे रेज एंड हाईलाइट इशूज सो पब्लिक ओपिनियन वॉट इज द ओपिनियन ऑफ द पीपल सो दे आर हेल्पिंग द पीपल और दे आर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द पीपल टू रेज देयर वॉइस अगेंस्ट द गवर्नमेंट so they are they raise and highlight issues parties have lakhs of members and activists spread all over the country many of the pressure groups are extensions of political parties among different sections of society so there are various pressure group like trade union or student union so this trade unions are also part of political party if there is one student unions called as abbp or akhil bharatiya vidyarthi parishad akhil bharatiya vidyarthi parishad is part of bjp it is just extension of bjp it is part of bjp so they are pressurizing the government so the congress is also having some student union or trade union so they are pressurizing the government so these are the pressure groups which are which can influence the policies of the government and which are pressurizing the government many of the pressure groups are extensions of political parties among different sections of the society there are mainly trade union student union which are part of political parties parties sometimes also launch movements for the resolution of problem faced by the people so suppose work, government is not working properly then political parties will organize everybody and they will launch a movement they will launch a country wide movement and they will force the government to change the policies next important function of political party is parties provide people access to government machinery and welfare scheme so whatever the welfare schemes that are run by the government people are not aware, aware about that welfare schemes so political parties are acting as a link between the government and people so they are making the people aware about the government policies and they are also uh, they are also providing help to the people to access to government machinery or government uh, suppose some government officers are not working properly then people are approaching the political parties and they are and political parties are helping the people to get their work done they provide the political parties provide access to government machinery and welfare schemes the local party leader act as a link between citizen and government officer so local party leader, leader is acting as a link between citizen and government officer that is why people feel close to parties even when they do not fulfill their trust so even we see we know uh, none of the political party is 100% correct or 100% non corrupt so but still we are linked with the political party if we are having any problem then before going to the government official we are going to the political party we are having the we are having some trust in the political party that they will solve our problem so we are going to the political party office first before going to the government office parties have to be responsive to the people needs and demands so political party should be responsive to the people needs if suppose people are demanding something then political party should try to fulfill that demands if they are not fulfilling the demands then people will not vote for them otherwise people can reject those parties in next election so it is very much important for the political parties to fulfill this functions if political parties are fulfilling this function then we can call that political parties as a good political party so hope you have understood this part in the second part we will talk about what is the necessity of political party and we will talk about what is the importance of political parties and how many political parties should we have we will talk about the party systems also so if you have understood this part please share the video with your friends and please subscribe to the channel also continue to watch the second part of the video also and thank you for watching